In this video I will show you the coolant installation of my CNC version 3.2 in detail. The bowl below the table is made of 0.75mm steel. The drain is composed of 40mm plastic tubes that are usually used in household water installations. The bowl is installed with a slope from back to front, which is why two 8mm nuts are stacked underneath the mount points at the front edge of the CNC table. At 27cm table length, we get a decline of approximately 1.5cm. The table height is adjusted with the threaded rods at the mount points. The tip of the milling cutter sets the reference height and the correct adjustment is reached if it touches the washer on the table. If that work is done, all square tubes are aligned in parallel to the router's plane of movement. Only the bowl below the table has a slope from the back to the front edge. The drain is covered by a piece of foam to get a simple filter. Around 700mm of fluid are sufficient for the circular flow, here I am using mains water. The pump is from the windscreen washer system of a car. Through a rubber hose and an aluminum tube, the water flows to the spindle motor. I'm using multi-purpose grease at the spindle axis to protect the motor from splash water. The pump is not connected to 12 volts because those motors are not designed for continuous operation. By pulse width modulation, the operating voltage is reduced to less than 4 volts. The current drawn by the pump is close to 1 amp. The first test is a circle with a diameter of 1cm cut from 0.8mm aluminum. With a new, sharp milling cutter and correct machine parameters, you can cut aluminum without using coolant. The coolant is turned on in the second run. Once more a 1cm circle is cut using the machine parameters of the previous run. You can't see a difference even when having a close look at the cutting edges. With coolant, the material being processed is less sensitive to the machine parameters, which becomes obvious when cutting plastics. The software is still in an experimental state, which is why the machine speed is far from maximum, furthermore the speed along the path isn't constant. When machining plastics with inappropriate low speed, the heat caused by friction melts the material and besides a poor quality of the cutting edge, your milling cutter will crack sooner or later. With the water coolant you can get perfect results even at low machine speeds. Here I am cutting gear wheels from 5mm acrylic plastics. As you can see, the chips settle on the edges of the foam by what the filter is plugging after a few minutes of operation. The surface area of a filter system can never be large enough, which is why I put a second foam barrier from left to right of the bowl underneath the table. This modification allows to operate the CNC for hours without cleaning the filter. The diameter of the round teeth of this gear is 2mm. The large wheels have 75 teeth. The smallest gear just 10 teeth. After work is done, you can remove the coolant by opening the cap at the pump. With the spray bottle, you can clean the bowl from the plastic strips.
when machining metals, the coolant is usually mixed with lubricant. Industrial cutting fluids are anything else but environmental friendly. I am using 20% of common dish liquid instead. The first heavy metal test piece is a flat iron bar. That material brings the CNC in its current state to the limit and above, but I was curious about what will happen. Diesel is sometimes used as hobby cutting fluid, but citrus fragrance in my workshop is better than the smell of diesel oil, even if the result with detergent cutting fluid might be not that good. Let's start the debate about cutting fluids in the comment section. I probably might test your suggested miracle fluids in a future video. The milling cutter made its way through the iron, but the result is obviously not perfect. Especially the lower edge of the circle is very rough. On one hand, there is wear on the milling cutter. On the other hand, the chipping of the iron wasn't removed perfectly by the stream of coolant. The deeper the cut, the more iron flakes sticked on the lower parts of the workpiece. Modifying the mount of the aluminum tube to get the coolant stream closer to the milling cutter will give better results. I did the same test with a piece of aluminum. The workpiece is 20mm wide and 5mm in height. Same as before, a 1.5mm two teeth milling cutter was used. The result is clearly better. A 0.75mm steel plate was to be cut next. Same as before, I'm using water with 20% dish liquid as cutting fluid. Don't adjust the milling cutter too deep or else you turn your CNC into a soap bubble machine. The adjustment was better in the second run. A sensor disc having 30 teeth is cut from the sheet metal with a 1.5mm milling cutter. The diameter of the disc is 76mm. The result isn't bad, the cutting edge is pretty smooth. In upcoming videos I will show what this sensor disc is useful for and what else this CNC can create in its current stage. Use the donate button on my project pages if you'd like to support the development of this open source CNC router, thanks to all backers that already made a donation. On my pages you can also get the templates and the software used to control the machine. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.